laser suddenly cracked in winter? Maybe you forgot to add antifreeze. First, let's see the performance requirement on antifreeze for chiller. And compare various types of antifreeze on the market. Obviously, these two are more suitable. To add antifreeze, we must first understand the ratio. Generally, the more antifreeze you add, the lower the freezing point of water, and the less likely it is to freeze. But if you add too much, its antifreezing performance will decrease. And it is pretty corrosive. You need to prepare the solution in proper proportion based on the winter temperature in your region. Take this 15,000 watt fiber laser chiller as an example. The mixing ratio is 3 to 7, antifreeze to pure water, when used in the region where the temperature is not lower than minus 15 degrees Celsius. First to take 1.5 liter of antifreeze in a container. Then add 3.5 liter of pure water for 5 liter mixing solution. But the tank capacity of this chiller is about 200 liter. Actually it needs around 60 liter antifreeze and 140 liter pure water to fill in after intensive mixing. Calculate and you will know whether adding antifreeze is more cost effective than repairing the laser. Ensure the chiller is under power off state. Unscrew the water supply inlet cap. Turn on the water drain tap. Drain the residual water. And turn off the water drain tap. Pour the prepared mixing solution in the chiller. Antifreezing solution used for a long time will have certain deterioration. And become more corrosive. Its viscosity will also change. Don't forget to replace the mixing solution with pure water after cold weather gone.